Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee video. Today, I'm gonna go over a request from one of you guys. How do I drink coffee or make coffee uh, for myself? I think I probably answered it in a couple of other videos, but uh, you mentioned that you were considering the hot top while you had a Breville XL. And I was like, I don't think a Breville XL is a coffee roaster, but I could be mistaken. So if you could clarify that question, but um, I have a Breville and it has the grinder and everything for my espresso maker. I don't actually drink a lot of espresso. Uh, when I do, um, it's usually probably like a midday sort of thing. So I never have espresso in the morning because I really, like the way that I like to consume coffee is actually take my time with it, drink it until it's like <laughs> super cold. Like I'll, I'll take it when it's piping hot upstairs to the office work on all my emails, everything that I do in the morning when I first wake up, finish that cup of coffee, and then probably head down to the gym or something like that. Um, so an espresso is great because I, I drink it this black too, but um, the experience is actually really quick. It's, it's so fast. So while I love espresso, um, this motion and, and enjoying the coffee is actually really quick for me. So I really only prefer this when I need sort of like to taste coffee in the middle of the day. Not as like a pick me up or anything like that. I guess like a pick me up mentally. Like when you drink coffee, I'm not caffeine sensitive. So it's not like I'll be all jittery after uh, having any espresso in the middle of the day or even into like 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. <laughs> at night. I'm not really caffeine sensitive. So, um, but that's a more quicker experience and I prefer that to be a lot later in the day versus what I normally drink, which is Aeropress or pour over in the morning because I want a nice solid cup of coffee, you know, like just a solid mug of coffee. And at most I'm only gonna have two cups of coffee um, in a day and I don't really want to go over that because uh, it'll throw everything out of balance and I'm all about trying to find balance. So um, Getting back to this thing. I don't know what model this is. It's wonderfully red. I got it as a Christmas gift from my husband and uh, I do have some beans in here and I think um, Space Boy you talked about <laughs> you talked about do I roast um, coffee for espresso and that's actually something that I was planning on doing so I do have um, Four types of green coffee in the coffee storage drawer. Let me pull up the question actually so I can be really accurate with this uh, Do you roast for espresso or any specific method of coffee making? Okay, cool um, the other thing that the other thing that I was saying is that I'm really considering the hot tub But not sure if that makes sense given that I have the Breville XL The one with the grinder and it costs half the price of the hot tub. Okay, so I want to clarify what um, Clarify what the hot top is versus what I'm thinking is the Breville which is this right? So the hot top the one that I used to have is the hot top 2k plus plus that's that's important It retails for sixteen hundred dollars. That is a coffee roaster for home roasters That's about as top of the line as you can get uh, For home roasting that has that's made into like USA and is like a USA brand and isn't like this uh, put together thing from China or wherever um, it's it's kind of like one of the ones that are kind of mainstream I guess in the in the world of home roasting the Breville XL which I googled really quick right after your question because I was I wanted to clarify I wanted to make sure I understood or you know because you know I just wanted to understand um, it just looks like an espresso maker with a grinder and maybe has some other bells and whistles besides mine like mine has a, a steam one it's, it's it makes one espresso uh, you can do single and double shot. You can adjust the grind amount. There are double, uh, there are single and double filter size. It comes with a tamp. Um, it has a grinder, and that's about it. So, those are two very different things. You have a home espresso maker, which one will argue you're never going to have true espresso at home because you're not using those industrial machines that can input the amount of pressure that you properly need for a real espresso. Um, and the hot top is a coffee roaster. See, so those are two very different things. So if you're deciding to 
If you were deciding to home roast and purchase a hot top, just know like that's as, as top of the line as you can go. The one that you can connect with Artisan, the open source free software for roasting coffee at home <clears throat> or anywhere, anyway. Um, so yeah, those are the big differences. So if you're deciding to purchase a hot top, it would not be for making espresso. It would be for roasting coffee. In terms of this guy, um, I've had this now for like, I think two years now, so not too long. And like I said, I don't drink espresso that often just because I find myself liking to enjoy the experience of coffee longer, which leads me to do more things like pour over an AeroPress at home. Getting back to what I was saying about, um, I have four um, types of green beans here in stock and I'm just waiting for my new roaster to come in so that I could start playing with some ideas of blending for espresso. So I don't think I'm gonna do that right away but that's definitely on my mind because I do drink espresso, right? Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna be roasting primarily for pour over, AeroPress and things like that, drip coffee, um, cold brew and things like that. Um, and as far as espresso goes, like, I think there's a common misconception that I also wanna talk about really quick. So here are some beans from Portola, one of the big guys here uh, in, in SoCal. Um, and they call this their espresso blend. So uh, they say these are coffees uh, blend to change based on the current offering. So a lot of times, the reason why you would blend coffees is an economical reason or for uh, the season. Like not all coffees stay in season throughout the year. So they need to, in order to keep offering espresso as a cafe, they need to be able to make sure that they can blend something to a consistency of whatever espresso profile. For example, this guy here. So if we take some from the hopper, um, and I think your question may have been leading into, do you roast, you, you asked, do you roast for espresso or other methods? Um, I think some people have the misconception that espresso, all, all espresso is dark, uh, like a dark roast. Where espresso, this is a common misconception, is not a roast profile. So it doesn't, it doesn't go light, medium, dark espresso. Espresso is just a method of brewing it. So you can really take any sort of bean that you want, uh, but what you'll mostly find in cafes is from light to medium roast profile coffees that they will use for espresso most of the time. But you can really take any bean that you want at any roast profile pop them in your espresso machine and brew espresso. So that's a common misconception, which I think your question was kind of leading into that. So for me, I would just want to, when I get into that process of roasting for espresso brewing, um, I would try to find something that wasn't too bright and isn't too dark and maybe is somewhere between the light to medium area, like in the beginning of that stage, if I were to look at it on a spectrum, you have light, medium, dark, I'd probably wanna do something in the end of the light, early, medium phase in terms of roasting for espresso. And that would just take a lot of experimentation on my part. Um, and considering blends, you know, uh, that would be something too. Or if I wanted to do single origin espresso um, roasts and things like that. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> in a roundabout way of saying and trying to answer your question correctly and as accurately as I can right now, um, that's what I would say about that front. Um, but yeah, daily drinking is AeroPress. If I'm lazy, if I wanna take my time and be a little bit more zen with things, um, I will do pour over. And I just have this Hario pour over thing. And I love my AeroPress. I really love, I really think that people discount this thing because maybe it doesn't look as fancy as this, which I'm not about that. I'm about like not really <laughs> hopping on trends or anything like that. So uh, to me is to like, you know, find what you really like and, and dig into that because I guess because I have like a like a purist mentality about 
everything. So, uh, but especially with coffee, you know, it doesn't have to matter how it looks. Just like a lot of, um, I guess, cafes, like, as I'm starting to go to cafes, I don't know if you've noticed, I go to a cafe, but I know I'm gonna be charged so much <laughs> um, for something that you could easily make at home uh, even better sometimes. Sometimes I, I'll, I've gone to Augie's, sadly, and I've had some really sour espresso shots, and I mean sour, and like there's tart and then there's sour, and sour meaning it's an underdeveloped or um, the shot was pulled too quickly or you know something like that. So, um, you know, little things, but to what's most important is that you like what you're drinking. That's the most important thing. Do you like what you're drinking? And that's really all that matters after the end of the day, the bottom line, do you like what you're drinking? So um, that's it for me. Thanks Boy, Space Boy for your uh, question and chiming in and watching the videos. I appreciate it. So to sum up, the Breville espresso maker, I think the one that you have, Breville XL, is a completely different machine than the hot top. So to make that really clear, the hot top is a coffee roaster. You still have to brew that coffee afterwards, whether you do it espresso, pour over, uh, aeropress, cold brew, whatever, what have you, drip, you know, what have you. Um, two very different machines, okay? So um, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next uh, Black City Coffee series or video or whatever it's going on. Um, it's Saturday. We're counting down the days until my new one kilo Mill City Roaster is in the garage and uh, up and running. So I'll keep you updated on that through this vlog series that's been going on and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.